video on exporting uh, my model, my game model here, this concrete barrier from Unity into, oh, sorry, from Blender into Unity. Um, first thing, let's take a look at the scale. Notice that this is a non-uniform scale here. Um, uh, that's because during the modeling process, I started with the cube and I stretched it out and it's non-uniform. Now, I'm going to export one of these without fixing it and show you why you should fix it and then I'll do it correctly. So, uh, I have my object selected here. If I go to File, uh, Export, I'm going to choose um, FBX. Here we go. XBX, FBX. And um, under the export options here, um, I'm going to use selected objects because I don't need any, I don't need the camera or lights or anything. Uh, I'm just going to leave these like it like they are. Now I could play with the scale here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to play. I'm going to fix the scale on the import in Unity. Um, I don't have any modifiers. I can actually turn all these off and just get the mesh. I don't have any animation. Uh, I can just turn all these off. So keep the precision like it is. And then I'm going to find a place to put this. I've already exported a couple of these. So um, to the working project to do it. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to give this another name. I'm just going to call this uh, part two. I'm going to call this uh, not fixed. Okay. Well, actually, I'm going to call it non-uniform. How's that for non-uniform scale? Okay. Then I'm going to enter that. And then to make sure that, uh, let me see my path here. Make sure that I remember where I'm putting this. I remember that. Okay. Uh, export that. Now, uh, I'm going to fix the non-uniform scale, which is quite easy to do. Uh, pay close attention to the scale here, X, Y, and Z. Uh, and I, I, to fix the non-uniform scale, um, I believe it's just Control A. Hit Control A, and then it's asked me to apply this to what? Well, location, rotation, scale. Well, I'm not concerned about those. I haven't really rotated it. I haven't moved it out of a different location. It's at zero, zero, zero. But I do want to fix the scale. So click scale. And you can see that these are all one. Once again, that was control A. Brings up this menu and then you can fix, you can choose what you want. And I just fix the scale. Okay. Now with that fixed, export this again. Uh, file, export, FBX. So this is the way you really want to do it. Um, and I'm just going to call this one uniform. And this is going to give me uh, a uniformly scaled object in, U in Unity. Export that. Here we go. So now let's just uh, bring our back. I'm over in Unity now. And I'm going to just make a folder here called uh, uh, meshes, I guess. And now I'm just going to go here, import. It's not a package, obviously. It's an asset. And I'm going to navigate to where I have that uh, to worker. Uh, I believe it's going to be in here. Nope. Uh oh. Where was that? Project documents. It should have been here. I'm gonna have to pause this and look for it. Yeah, it's in here. This folder under part two, FBX part two. So now I have the non-uniform. Gonna bring that in. Okay. And I'm gonna bring in the next one which is the uniform. Uh, and 
I'll show you how to set up the textures on these in a minute, the materials I should say. So let's just bring these in. This is my um, non-uniform. This is my uniform. Now we need to go to their... Um, now you can see here, just by looking at these, and I'm going to actually... I'll zoom into one of these. Now first of all, it's super, super small. You see how small it is? So small that it's, it's way underneath the car here. So it's really, really small. So you can see that um, both of these are incorrect. Now they look, at first, let me zoom into them, at first uh, attempt, they look like they're pretty much the same. Oh, uh, yikes. Uh, yeah, okay, let me get this so it doesn't pop like that. Okay. Um, so they look like they're pretty much the same, except when I pick on, when I select my uniform, Notice the scale values here, 1, 1, 1. That's what I want. Because if I needed to scale this up, um, I could easily do that in a predictable manner. The next one here, notice how it's non-uniform. It's got these weird numbers. Well, not weird, but it has these decimal points. And um, that's going to make it hard to scale up. But um, so I just want to make sure that when I bring it in, it's non-uniform. So I'm going to, for this one, I don't need this. Um, that's that's a mess, right? That would be a mess to scale that up. But I do want to do deal with this one. Now, on this one, uh, might as well throw this out. On this one, uh, even though I said that it's good to have it 1, 1, 1, so I can scale it uniformly, um, I'm not going to actually do the scaling of this here um, because I want to, have a pipeline set up that whenever I input, uh, export, import from um, Blender, that everything comes in at the same size. And this is obviously incorrect size. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to little polyberian non-uniform. Don't need that one. I'm going to delete that one. Um, uniform. So you can see here when you import an object. Uh, it gives you, uh, if you select the actual object in your um, project uh, under the model, it gives you the scale factor. And the scale factor on this, I'm going to try first, 0.1, apply. And that should apply it here. Oh, did it make it bigger? Oh, what the, what the, what's going on? Uh, uniform. Point one, apply. Well, let me try one. Do that. Apply. And now we have it bigger. Yeah. So, um, and I'm going to just move my car over a little bit. So we can see it. So now, um, you can see that I have a more, uh, a better size for this. So now, you know, if I was with doing this in a big project, what I do is make sure I, I know that whenever I import from uh, Blender, I should always set my scale factor 0.1, and then, um, you know, remember my settings here. And the good thing about my settings in Blender is I can actually save this as a uh, preset. I can save here and say to to Unity. And now I have that as a preset here, and I know what needs to be set. And then I just have to remember to bring it up scale factor. Now, if I really wanted to, just go back to Blender, I could actually uh, adjust the scaling here, but um, I'm not going to do that because I like to be able to see uh, it, it's, it, the effect um, immediately. So that's how you import the scale. Now, what about the textures? Well, if you notice here, it did bring in this this uh, did bring in this material for this uh, object, but um, problem is that uh, didn't bring in the actual textures. So, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to rename this. Oh no, I don't even need to. It's already named correctly. I'm going to bring in my um, okay. 
Here are my textures that I'm going to be using for that, my bitmaps, TGAs. Just drag them in here, and here we go. Now we can build that uh, material. If I go to this material, first thing, double click this, okay, I need to click it here. First thing, I need to change my shader. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to do bump specular, I could try bump diffuse, but I want to have a little bit more control over the um, specular values. Now, um, <clears throat> it's going to ask me for a bitmap here, and it's going to be this one here for the base color. Now, we're not going to see that. Well, yeah, we can. I guess I can adjust. I'm going to adjust my uh, my directional light. You need a light in the scene to really see this properly. And I'm going to adjust my directional light rotation. Let's see. That's the position, sorry. Rotation. Yeah, that's that's better. So now I have... Actually, I'm going to adjust it so it's over here a little bit as well. So that's just my um, diffuse color on this. Now it's asking for a normal map. Now I don't have a normal map. I'm going to convert this grayscale into a normal map and use this. There are uh, a few different ways to actually uh, create normal maps, but I'll cover that in a different video. I'm just going to use the built-in converter inside Unity, and it's not the best, but it gets the job done for now. Um, so right now it's telling me this texture is marked as, it's not marked as normal. I need to fix that. And what it's going to do, it's going to convert this to a normal map. It's still not what you expect. If you look at this, it looks nothing like uh, the one in Blender, right? Um, I need to go to this material that's been converted, go to its settings, and you can see that now it's been converted to a normal map, right? Okay. Now, uh, here... I need to make sure that I have checked create uh, from grayscale and if I hit apply it's going to give me a, uh, a result but it's too bumpy right so let's bring down the bump value and that's giving me pretty close to what you'd expect. Now, I need to actually uh, adjust a few things here. I'm going to actually center on this so I can rotate around that. Oh well. That's going to be fine, I guess. Um, what I need to do is let me go to this material and I can actually play with uh, how sh it's a little bit too shiny so I'll bring that down a little bit and I can actually play with the specular color make the specular color a little bit darker so it's not so and that's giving me something pretty close to what you'd expect now once again it's up to me to uh, adjust my settings. I can tint it with this. I can play with the specular value here. And I think I kind of liked it before. Bring this up. Bring the color up. And this is good. Gonna, this is just going to play with this. The uh, adjust this into the, the uh, specular level you can see here. And this is going to adjust the spread. Bring it down just a little bit more and adjust the spread. So that's giving me kind of a concrete barrier. It's got a little bit of specular on it. I don't want it to look too uh, shiny because it's supposed to be concrete. So you really need to play with it. The other thing is, if I don't like this, uh, I could always change this to just bump diffuse. Except this is not going to really give me um, control over the specular, the specular amount. Um, and I kind of like to have that little bit of a control. Now, 
So that's pretty much in the scene, but you know, I can go in here. I, I do like to have this Begler, just so I, I can adjust it just a little bit, even though it's not supposed to be that shiny. Um, it'll give me a little bit more control. Now, the only way to get this any better is, of course, to keep, you know, have be slightly better lighting, because I only have one directional light in, in my scene, and that's going to affect it, um, how you, how your lighting, the position of your light is going to really affect this greatly. Uh, the other thing is I could use a third-party program to uh, convert my grayscale to, to a normal map, or if I was doing this uh, in a more in a more precise way, I'd like have a low poly um, uh, model in Blender and a high poly model in Blender, and then actually um, bake normal maps uh, with a cage. But in this case, I'm just uh, transferring a grayscale, converting a grayscale to a normal map. It's kind of a cheap cheap way that you can do it quickly. Um, so that's it.